Hey, Don Copeland here, and today we're gonna to show you something uh, different in an application for uh, DTF transfers. Uh, we're gonna actually put these on hats. We're gonna put them in a couple of different locations on the hats to show you some just really cool ways to do it. If you've been around the apparel industry for any period of time at all, you know that the vast majority of hats nowadays, especially those that are multicolor, are being done with embroidery. While embroidery is an awesome way of decorating, um, it is time consuming and it is limiting. I mean, you, you have to digitize all the different colors and go through color changes. You know, you might only do a half dozen hats an hour if it's, if it's a multicolor type of job. So with this process, you're actually able to transfer directly to a hat, full color, and you'll see some of the application we do, which would be difficult to do with embroidery as well, and get great color. And this will go great when you're matching up. Let's say you're doing uh, shirts and other items, bags, things like that for an, uh, an organization, and they want hats. You don't have embroidery, guess what? Great solution here. Inexpensive transfer, great color, and uh, just a great way to add on to the things you're doing with your DTF to make money. So as you see here, we, we have the, the DTF. Right now we have, this is the uh, 24H2 that is printing these out. And we're more, doing, printing more than just the hat transfers. We're doing a bunch of different transfers. You'll see a lot of different sizes in there. We played around with a lot of different sizes for hats and locations on shirts and whatnot. But straightforward process. You have an inkjet printer, that is like a large format printer that is printing with inks, which are very much so like the inks we've been using in DTG for years. And then it goes into the machine and we have a powder, again, something that's been around for a long time used in the plastic salt transfer industry. It's just a fine grade of that that is applied with a shaker straight onto the back of the transfer, it comes up and it's going to be beaten from behind to knock loose any loose powder. And then finally, the last step of the journey is it actually goes through a, a small belt dryer, which is actually going to set the inks and the glue together. And it's also gonna set the glue so that it's not tacky on the back so you can actually roll it up and cut it and stack it up when you go. That is where these transfers came from. And as you can see, some of these smaller ones we're doing are going to actually, you might, you might have two or three cents into them. There's not a lot of money to be getting full color that you can apply to items in places, especially hard to do placements for direct to garment or embroidery. So what we've done is we've turned the helmet, the helmet, the hat around, and we put it on here and have, I've actually given it a quick press to flatten this out on the back. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just put this small logo right here over top of this right here. And as you see, I've trimmed it pretty tight at the bottom because I wanna get kind of close to this. So I'm gonna bring it in here. What I'm going to do now, just go ahead and press this. We're pressing these for 10 seconds at 302, 303, whatever the press gets at, but right in the 300 range for 10 seconds with heavy pressure. All right, and we're going to let it cool. All right, let's go ahead and get this peeled. Straight back, there we go. Now I'm going to take and just put a, this is a piece of actually of a, a finishing sheet that we would use for DTG or other things like that. Put that over top of it. We're gonna give it another five seconds at heavy pressure. What this does is this uh, sets the glues a little deeper and it also is going to improve the rub fastness of the transfer itself. All right, unleash that. There we go. Pretty cool application. Turn it around here. That is not something I wanna do with embroidery. <laughs> I don't know about you. But I think that's pretty cool. You could actually even just, just do this on the back of a hat and then people would go for that. Strange placements like over here on the side, bills, things like that. We're gonna try a side placement on as well. We put the logo right on the side. All I did is just rotate the, the, helmet, the hat 90 degrees. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a quick press. Again, <clears throat> 302, 303 degrees, 10 seconds at heavy pressure. I'm gonna let it cool. that quick finish. Five seconds on this one. Go ahead and pop it. Pull that off. There you go. Cool side placement and a bill placement on the same cap. There we have it. So this has been like just fun with caps with Don and Hannah. And so what we've done is a lot of applications here. To point out, we use, this is the uh, the Stahls Hotronics 
uh, IQ 360 heat press. Nice, really ergonomically designed. I love this. This spring-loaded helps hold the cap. Taut when we're doing it. We didn't use it in this application, but this, this piece will actually heat up as well, so you can have heat from underneath. And probably the most common application I can think of for that would be if you were doing a thick type of transfer like an applique, where you may not get the heat through the front as much, or if you do, it might be at, at the expense of the transfer itself. And you're bringing the heat up from underneath to just make sure you get that glue heated up so that you get a good transfer. We've done some cool positioning here. We did a bill print, which as, as Hannah said, there's no way you can do that with anything else she's tried, right? <laughs> we did a side application. And you guys, you can use this to complement other types of embellishment if you wanted to, right? You could have embroidered something and maybe you wanted to put in a, a, you know, which location of this business was right here on the side or on the back. Speaking of on the back, we did one right here, right over top, just fits nicely over top of that, nice touch. On the front, this is just a standard cotton hat. The foam hat, we did the transfer on the front. And this is a poly hat. This is like a vapor apparel product, I believe. And really soft polyester, got amazing quality on the front of it. And if I'm not mistaken, this almost looks like it's a waterproof material. <laughs> so I'm thinking I would instead of punching a bunch of holes in it with embroidery, which it actually has, if it has to see the inside of it, it's got that. I don't know what I'd want to embroider that. This is a great way to embellish these type of caps. So uh, just another way that you can actually make money with your DTF printer thinking outside the box. And these transfers were cheap, cheap, cheap. There was not a lot. It's not like doing a full front. As you see, I've got some here to do a full front. Everything I transfer today costs about a third of what this whole design did. So just another great way to make some money and uh, create a whole branding for your customers.